Hello, everyone. Hello. Touch not and Benny. You there, Ben? Mm-hmm. We're out in the field, out in the forest, and uh, we're going to take a look at the On the Trail Clanhattan book. We took a little bit of this all year long, but I wanted to read a few of the clans in a row here for you, Benny, right? The first one is actually our next month clan, which is the McIntyres. And we'll read, uh, we'll read four or five of these 12 clans today, all right? Okay. McIntyres in Badenoch. McIntyre means son of the carpenter. You know what a carpenter is? Builds things out of wood? Builds houses out of wood? Yeah. Builds tables and chairs from wood? So there are many families with the name in the Highlands. The Clanhattan McIntyres appear to have been based in Badenoch, and early records suggest that a Macintosh chief took a McIntyre bard, which means a poet or a musician, the family's progenitor, under his protection and employment in 1496. So, 14, and it is a long time ago. Clan Macintosh. Shaw McDuff. You have some McDuffs in your, and Duffy in your family. Duff, you have Duffy, don't you? Uh, I don't know. Yes, you do. I know. Shaw McDuff, son of the Earl of Fife, was appointed keeper of the royal castle of Inverness around 1163 and received the lands at Petty in Strathdairn. He took the name Macintosh, son of the Thane. The connection with the Clan Hatton began in 1291 with the marriage of who? Um, Eva? Eva. Eva. Eva and Angus. For almost 650 years, the Clan Macintosh was chief was also the captain of Clan Hatton. The Macintosh territory at one time extended into Lacabre and Badenoch but for centuries it had a close association with the town of Inverness, whose southern approaches the clan dominated. In 1938, the chief died without direct male heir, meaning children, and the Lord Lyon held that the chiefship of Clan Hatton had become separated from that of Macintosh. The 30th chief of Clan Macintosh, Lachlan Macintosh of Macintosh, lived at Moy until his death in 1995, which had been acquired by William, the seventh chief in 1336. His family still lives there today. Maclean's of the North. The Maclean's of Dagarak are the chiefs of Clan Tirlac, or Chirlac, named from Chirlac Charles Maclean eldest son of Hector MacLean, first of Loch Bui. Tirlach was the van, in the vanguard of the Lord of the Isles and was the constable of the Urquhart Castle from 1394. Following the Battle of Harlaw in 1411, he sought protection within the Clan Hatton. His son Hector married a daughter of the chief of the Macintoshes. That's a good move. Despite the active support of the Macintoshes in Clanhattan, the Macleans lost ownership of Urquhart Castle in 1509 and settled at nearby Dagarak, though they still managed to lease much of Urquhart. In 1609, Alexander Maclean of Dagarak signed the Clanhattan Bond. Well, that's three of the clans out of 12, folks. I think that's good. That's one quarter. We'll um, we'll pick this up again at some point and uh, read three at a time. From the On the Trail of the Clan Hatton, the Clan Hatton Association publication. Please join clanhatton.org.uk. You also get the yearly magazine, The Touch Knot, uh, which yours truly uh, writes an article for every year. Uh, I'll be formulating that very soon. Uh, look for that, Donald. I'll have it by, I hope, January. Um, that's going to be full of a lot of things, right, Benny? Yep. We've been having a lot of fun, and uh, maybe I'll put your picture in there. Um, yep, so please join the Clanhattan Association. It's not all that 
expensive. The five-year plan is actually very affordable as well. It saves you a little bit of money. So please get to clinhattan.org.uk. Touch not, my friends. Touch not.